Welcome back to the Calm Mind channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often overlooked but incredibly powerful in our daily interactions, the art of silence and mystery. We live in a world where everyone is eager to share, to express, to make their voices heard. But have you ever stopped to consider the power of saying less, or even saying nothing at all? We often struggle with saying what isn't ready to be said, rushing to fill the silence with words that might not be necessary, or even beneficial. And in our quest to appear important or influential, we sometimes adopt aggressive tactics, trying to make ourselves look bigger than we are. But is this really the best way to gain respect and admiration? Today, we're going to explore the importance of knowing when to speak and when to be silent, and how this can dramatically affect our relationships and interactions with others. We'll delve into the power of silence, the intrigue of mystery, and how these can make people go the extra mile to be your friend. So, are you ready to embrace the power of silence and mystery? Let's get started. The struggle of saying what isn't ready. We've all been there. That moment when we feel compelled to fill the silence, to say something, anything, just to avoid that uncomfortable quiet. But sometimes, in our haste to speak, we end up saying things that aren't ready to be said. Things that might be half-formed, not fully thought out, or even potentially hurtful. This struggle is a common one. It's human nature to want to communicate, to express ourselves. But it's also important to remember that not every thought needs to be voiced immediately. Sometimes, it's better to wait, to let our thoughts mature before we put them out into the world. Let's consider an example. Imagine you're in a meeting at work, and a colleague proposes an idea that you're not entirely on board with. Your initial reaction might be to voice your disagreement right away. But what if you took a moment to consider their perspective, to let your own thoughts settle before responding? By doing so, you might find that your response is more thoughtful, more constructive. And that's just one example of how waiting to say what isn't ready can lead to better outcomes. So next time you feel the urge to fill the silence, take a moment. Let your thoughts mature. You might be surprised at the difference it makes. The aggressive quest for respect. In our society, respect is often equated with power and influence. And in the quest for respect, some people resort to aggressive tactics. They try to make themselves look bigger, louder, more important. They believe that by doing so, they'll gain the respect and admiration of others. But is this really the best way to earn respect? Let's take a closer look. In the animal kingdom, displays of aggression are often used to establish dominance. But humans, with our complex social structures and emotional intelligence, require a more nuanced approach. Aggressive behavior might make you seem important in the short term, but it can also create a barrier between you and others. It can lead to conflict, misunderstanding, and ultimately, a loss of respect. Instead of demanding respect through aggression, what if we tried earning it through understanding, empathy, and mutual respect? Consider this, a leader who listens, who values others' opinions, who treats everyone with respect. Isn't that someone you'd admire more than a leader who uses aggression to assert their dominance? The quest for respect doesn't have to be aggressive. In fact, a more compassionate approach can often lead to deeper, more meaningful respect. So, next time you find yourself striving for respect, remember, aggression isn't the only way. Sometimes, the quietest person in the room can command the most respect. The power of silence. Silence. It's something we often try to avoid. But have you ever considered the power it holds? Silence can be a powerful tool in our interactions with others. It can make people go the extra mile to be your friend, to understand you, to connect with you on a deeper level. Think about it. When you're silent, you're giving others the space to express themselves, to share their thoughts and feelings. You're showing them that you're willing to listen, to understand. And this can be incredibly powerful. It can build trust, foster understanding, and create stronger, more meaningful connections. But the power of silence goes beyond just listening. It can also be a form of communication in itself. A thoughtful silence can express empathy, understanding, or contemplation. It can show others that you're taking their words to heart, that you're truly engaged in the conversation. So, don't be afraid of silence. 
Embrace it. Use it as a tool to deepen your connections with others, to show them that you value their words, their thoughts, their feelings. And remember, sometimes, the most powerful words are the ones left unspoken. The Mystery Factor Now, let's delve into a different aspect of silence, the mystery factor. Being mysterious can keep people guessing, keep them intrigued. It can make you an enigma, a puzzle to be solved. And this can be incredibly powerful. When people can't quite figure you out, they're often more interested, more engaged. They want to know more. Just like a magician who never reveals their secrets, a person who maintains a sense of mystery can captivate an audience. But how do you cultivate this sense of mystery? It's not about being secretive or deceptive. It's about revealing just enough to pique interest, but not so much that the mystery is lost. It's about balance. Sharing enough to connect with others, but also keeping some things to yourself. This can create a sense of intrigue, a desire to know more. So, don't be afraid to keep people guessing. Embrace the mystery factor. It can make your interactions more engaging, more intriguing, and ultimately, more memorable. After all, everyone loves a good mystery. Disrupting confidence with silence. Silence. It's not just a tool for building connections or creating mystery. It can also be a strategic move, a way to disrupt others' confidence and break their flow of thought. Imagine you're in a debate or a negotiation. The other person is confidently presenting their argument, their thoughts flowing smoothly. Now, imagine you respond with silence. You take a moment, a pause, before you reply. This unexpected silence can disrupt the other person's flow. It can make them question their argument, their confidence. It can give you the upper hand. But this isn't about undermining others or playing mind games. It's about understanding the power of silence and how it can be used strategically. Just like in a game of chess, knowing when to pause, when to be silent, can be a powerful strategy. So, next time you find yourself in a debate or a negotiation, remember the power of silence. Use it wisely, and it can be a game changer. After all, sometimes, the most powerful move is the one you don't make. The Guessing Game Now, let's talk about another aspect of silence, the guessing game. When you're silent, you're not giving everything away. You're keeping people guessing, keeping them on their toes. And this can be incredibly powerful. It can create intrigue, spark curiosity, and keep people engaged. Just like a suspenseful movie that keeps you guessing until the end, a person who maintains a sense of mystery can captivate an audience. But how do you play this guessing game? It's not about being secretive or deceptive. It's about revealing just enough to pique interest, but not so much that the mystery is lost. It's about balance. Sharing enough to connect with others, but also keeping some things to yourself. This can create a sense of intrigue, a desire to know more. So, don't be afraid to keep people guessing. Embrace the guessing game. It can make your interactions more engaging, more intriguing, and ultimately, more memorable. After all, who doesn't love a good guessing game? Living fully while revealing little. Living fully. It's something we all strive for. But can you live fully while revealing little about yourself? Let's explore this. Living fully is about experiencing life to the fullest, embracing opportunities, and pursuing your passions. But it doesn't necessarily mean sharing every detail of your life with others. In fact, revealing little about yourself can actually enhance your experiences. It can create a sense of mystery, spark curiosity, and keep people engaged. It's about finding a balance between sharing and keeping things to yourself. It's about living authentically, but also maintaining your privacy. Consider this, a person who lives fully, who embraces every moment, but who also keeps a part of themselves just for them. Isn't that a captivating image? This balance between living fully and revealing little can create a powerful aura of intrigue and authenticity. So, don't be afraid to keep some things to yourself. Live fully, embrace your experiences, but also maintain your sense of mystery. After all, the most interesting stories are the ones that leave a little to the imagination. Conclusion 
As we've explored today, silence and mystery hold immense power in our interactions with others. From knowing when to speak and when to be silent, to understanding the power of mystery, to using silence as a strategic tool, we've seen how these elements can shape our relationships and experiences. But remember, it's not about playing games or being deceptive. It's about understanding the power of silence and using it wisely. It's about revealing just enough to pique interest, but not so much that the mystery is lost. It's about living fully, while also maintaining your privacy. So, embrace the power of silence. Embrace the intrigue of mystery. Use these tools to enhance your interactions, to deepen your connections, and to live a more authentic, engaging life. And remember, sometimes, the most powerful words are the ones left unspoken.